Welcome to the channel. Today, we're unraveling the essence of resilience, authentic relationships, and the path to personal growth. Our journey through life is enriched by understanding ourselves and nurturing our connections with others. If you're new here or a returning viewer, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Your insights and experiences are invaluable to us, so join the conversation below and let's create a space for mutual learning and support. In this video, we'll explore emotional intelligence, the complexities of desire in relationships, and the significance of communication and respect. We'll also delve into the strength found in vulnerability and the importance of being our authentic selves, ready to dive in and foster a deeper understanding of ourselves and our relationships. Let's get started. Number one. Embracing Emotional Intelligence Recognizing the importance of emotional intelligence in relationships is crucial. It's about understanding our emotions and those of others, fostering communication, and building stronger connections. This understanding transcends gender stereotypes emphasizing the universal value of empathy, self-awareness, and effective communication. Now I invite you to participate. Can you recall a time when emotional intelligence made a difference in your personal or professional life? Maybe it was a moment when being aware of your emotions or empathetically understanding someone else's feelings helped resolve a conflict or deepen a relationship. Drop your story in the comments below. I'm excited to read about how emotional intelligence has played a role in your lives. Emotional intelligence is more than just a buzzword. It's a fundamental skill that can significantly enhance our interactions and relationships. By sharing our experiences, we not only celebrate the power of emotional intelligence, but also encourage others to develop and prioritize this skill in their own lives. Number 2. Understanding Individual Desires The concept of hypergamy, or choosing partners based on certain desirable traits, is often misunderstood. It's not solely about materialism or status, but about seeking compatibility and shared values in a partner. Recognizing the diversity of what individuals find attractive or desirable is key to understanding human relationships. Let's dive deeper with a community challenge. Reflect on your own relationship or someone you know well. How do the principles of compatibility, shared values, and personal growth play a role in that relationship? Does it challenge traditional notions of hypergamy or support them? Share your insights or stories in the comments section. It's fascinating to see how diverse our experiences and perspectives can be. For example, consider Maya, a successful architect, and Jordan, a dedicated high school teacher. They challenge traditional concepts of hypergamy. By building a relationship based on shared values rather than material wealth or status, their connection deepens through mutual interests in making a positive impact and personal growth, rather than societal expectations. Despite skepticism, their relationship thrives on respect, understanding, and support, showcasing that true compatibility transcends societal norms. Number 3. Communication and Respect Effective communication and respect are the cornerstones of any healthy relationship. It's about expressing oneself clearly and listening to others, acknowledging differences, and working towards mutual understanding and support. Respecting boundaries and valuing each other's opinions cultivates a nurturing environment for relationships to thrive. Here's where you come in. Share with us a moment when clear communication and respect transformed a situation for you. It could be a misunderstanding that was cleared up, a conflict that was resolved, or simply a conversation that brought you closer to someone. Your experiences are valuable, and by sharing them, we can all learn more about the power of communication and respect in our relationships. Post your story in the comments below. To illustrate, let's look at Jamie and Alex's scenario. They are discussing weekend plans. Jamie. I was thinking we could visit the art exhibit downtown this Saturday. What do you think? Alex? That sounds fun, but remember I have the marathon training with my team this weekend. Jamie. Pauses, then nods. Right, I forgot about that. How about Sunday then? Alex? 
Sunday works for me. Thanks for being flexible. I appreciate it. Jamie? Of course, and maybe you can tell me more about your training over coffee after the exhibit. Alex? I'd love to. It's great how we can always figure things out together. This simple exchange showcases how effective communication and mutual respect can lead to understanding and compromise, reinforcing the bond in a relationship. Number four, strength and vulnerability. Contrary to the notion that showing vulnerability is a sign of weakness, it's actually a sign of strength. It takes courage to open up and share one's feelings and challenges. This vulnerability leads to deeper connections and mutual support, reinforcing the idea that strength and resilience are not about stoicism, but about the capacity to be open and supportive. Now I want to hear from you. Have you ever had a moment where showing vulnerability led to a positive outcome? Perhaps it was a time when opening up about your feelings or challenges brought you closer to someone or helped you to overcome a difficult situation. Share your story in the comments below. Your experiences can inspire others to embrace their vulnerability as a source of strength. For instance, consider Sarah, a project manager, known for her stoicism. She faced personal challenges that began affecting her work. Trying to maintain her usual professionalism, she struggled privately. However, during a crucial project meeting, she stumbled over her presentation. Mark, a colleague, noticed her distress and offered support. Reluctantly, Sarah shared her struggles with him. This moment of vulnerability led to a deeper connection between them. Mark provided both professional and emotional support, which helped Sarah navigate her challenges more effectively. Her decision to open up also encouraged others in the team to share their own experiences, fostering a supportive work environment that valued openness and mutual aid. Through this experience, Sarah learned that showing vulnerability is not a weakness but a strength that can lead to deeper connections and collective resilience. Number 5. The Value of Authenticity Moving beyond the nice guy stereotype, it's crucial to focus on authenticity. Genuine kindness, respect, and assertiveness are not just attractive qualities, but the foundation of meaningful interactions and relationships. It's about being true to oneself and interacting with others with integrity, which fosters genuine connections and mutual respect. But let's take this a step further. I want to hear from you, our community. Think about a moment when someone's authenticity deeply impacted you, positively or negatively. How did it change your perspective or relationship with them? Share your stories in the comments below. By sharing, we can all learn from each other's experiences and appreciate the profound impact authenticity can have in our lives. Remember, being authentic isn't just about being honest with others. It's about being honest with ourselves, recognizing our strengths and weaknesses and embracing them. This honesty not only leads to personal growth but also enables us to connect with others on a deeper level. Number 6. Mutual Support and Equality Emphasizing mutual support and equality in relationships acknowledges that everyone, regardless of gender, seeks a partner who shares the values of reliability, emotional support, and understanding. It's about creating a balanced partnership where both individuals feel valued and supported. We're turning the spotlight on you now. Share a story from your life where mutual support and equality played a pivotal role in strengthening a relationship. It could be a partnership, a friendship, or even a professional relationship. How did these principles help you and the other person to grow together? Your stories can shine a light on the importance of these values in building strong, balanced relationships. Drop your story in the comments below. Balanced partnerships are the foundation for lasting relationships. They allow both individuals to feel supported, respected, and equally valued, leading to a healthier and more fulfilling connection. By sharing our experiences, we not only celebrate the power of mutual support and equality, but also inspire others to prioritize these values in their own relationships. Number 7. Celebrating Achievements Together Appreciating each other's successes and supporting one another in times of challenge strengthens relationships. It's not about competing but about cheering each other on, recognizing achievements and being there during tough times. 
This mutual support fosters a loving and encouraging relationship dynamic. Here's a moment for you to share. Reflect on a time when celebrating an achievement or supporting someone through a challenge made a significant difference in your relationship. How did this shared experience strengthen your bond? It could be a personal triumph, a partner's professional milestone, or a friend's achievement. We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Sharing these moments can inspire us all to value the power of celebration and support in our relationships. When we celebrate each other's achievements and provide support during challenging times, we not only strengthen our bonds but also build a foundation of love and encouragement. These actions demonstrate our investment in each other's well-being and success, contributing to a nurturing and supportive relationship environment. Number 8. Diverse Communication Styles Acknowledging that people have different communication styles is vital for understanding and harmony. By recognizing and respecting these differences, we can avoid misunderstandings and foster a deeper connection, making room for growth and mutual respect in relationships. Now, it's your turn to engage. Think of a time when recognizing a different communication style, yours or someone else's, led to a breakthrough in understanding or resolved a conflict. How did adapting to or acknowledging this difference make a positive change in your relationship or interaction? Please share your experience in the comments below. Your insights could help others recognize the value of understanding and adapting to diverse communication styles. Understanding that we all communicate differently and embracing these differences can significantly improve our interactions and relationships. Whether it's through words, actions, or even silence, recognizing the unique ways we express ourselves helps build stronger, more empathetic connections. Number 9. Journey of Self-Improvement Embracing a journey of self-improvement and mutual growth in relationships is key. It's about continuously learning from each other, embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, and supporting one another in becoming the best versions of ourselves. I invite you now to reflect and share. Have you and a partner or friend embarked on a journey of self-improvement together? Perhaps you took up a new hobby, faced a challenge head-on, or supported each other's personal goals. How did this shared journey impact your relationship and personal growth? Share your story in the comments below. Your experiences can inspire others to pursue growth and improvement, both individually and together. This journey isn't just about individual achievement. It's about how striving for personal growth can bring us closer to those we share our lives with. By supporting each other's goals and celebrating our progress, we foster a relationship dynamic that encourages continuous learning and mutual respect. As we wrap up today's exploration of resilience, authenticity, and the transformative power of emotional intelligence and mutual support, it's clear that the journey through personal growth and understanding our relationships is both challenging and rewarding. We've seen how embracing vulnerability, acknowledging diverse communication styles, and celebrating achievements together can deepen our connections and foster a supportive community. Thank you for joining us on this journey at Stoicism Sanctuary. Your engagement and stories shared in the comments have not only enriched our discussion, but have also highlighted the collective wisdom of our community. Remember, growth is a continuous journey, not a destination. And every step taken is a step towards becoming the best version of ourselves and enhancing our relationships. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Your support helps us keep these conversations going. Here's to embracing our strengths, working on our areas for growth, and cherishing the connections that make life truly meaningful. Until next time, keep growing, keep learning, and keep connecting.